Hello and welcome back to the Call Louis Academy YouTube channel. In today's video, we will look at how we can join a Windows client computer to a Windows Server domain. So without wasting any time, let us just go straight into the video. So when you take a look at my screen, I have my Windows 11 client computer and also I have my Windows Server 2022 so we have our server 2022 right here and we have our windows 11 so we're just going to just go through how we can join our windows 11 client computer to our windows server 2022 domain controller so i'm going to log in to my domain controller by putting in my password so once i log in I'm just going to click on local server and I'm going to come to the Ethernet and just click on the IP address. By clicking on the IP address, it will open the network properties. So I'm just going to double click on the local era network properties and I'm just going to click on details. The reason why I'm doing this, I want to be sure of the IP address settings on our Windows Server 2022 and make sure to configure the Windows 11 IP address accordingly. So our IP address is 172.30.15.1 and then we have a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. So I'm going to configure my client computer to fall within the same IP range. So I come to my Windows 11 client computer, come down in the bottom right, right click on my network card and then click on network and internet settings. And then that will open my network and internet era. And then I will just come and click on properties. And then you will see that it is set to DSCP. So my Windows 11 has got an IP address for my home router. I'm just going to click on edit to change it from DSCP to manual IP address. I'm just going to click on IPv4. I'm going to put in an IP address. So I'll put the IP address at 172.30.15. Our server is dot one. So I'll just put this to dot two. Come down to the subnet mask. I'll put 255.255.255.0. We don't have a router. So I'll just leave the default gateway blank. And one of the most important thing before a computer can join an Active Directory domain is to make sure that you have DNS. So the DNS is running on our server 2022. So I'm just going to put the IP address of the server 2022. That is 172.30.15.1. So I'll click on save. So that will save the IP address. And then what I can do after setting the IP address to manual IP address for my Windows 11, I can click on in the search here I can go to the command prompt by typing CMD and open command prompt. And then once the command prompt opens, I can click on ping, which is a command to test for connectivity. And I will just put the IP address of the Windows Server 2022. So I'll put 172.30.15.1 and I will press enter to just make sure I can ping that computer. So I got reply from that computer. So which means it's a connectivity between my Windows 11 and my server. So the next thing I'm going to do is to minimize this and I will click on system to come to the computer name and come to the button and click on about. Or if this was closed, I can just click on start and then click on settings and it will bring me right back to the same place. And then I can go down on the system. I can go down to and click on about. And then it will bring me down to where I can, I can see the computer information. So to join it to the domain, I can just click on domain or work group. And then it's going to open the system properties for me. And then I will come down here and see that the host name is here. And then right now it's part of a work group. To join it to the domain, I'm just going to come to where it has to rename this computer or change its domain or work group. Click on change. So I want to change it from work group to domain. So I will click on change and it's going to bring the error to change out of the computer name or to join it to the domain. And instead of having it on work group, I'm going to put it on domain. And then 
within the domain, I'm going to type in our domain name. So it's called Luis. I will go back to my domain controller and just make sure of my domain name. So my domain name is called LuisAcademy.com when you look up here. So I want to make sure to type that exact name there as well. So I'm going to say, click here. So it's not K-R-A, but it's called LuisAcademy.com. And I'll click on OK. Now we are prompted to put a username and password here to join this computer to the domain. So make sure that the username that you are putting here is someone within the organization who has the right and privilege to join computers to a domain. I'll just quickly go back to our domain controller and I will just show you something really fast. So when I click on tools, I will come to Active Directory users and computers. When we look at our domain called Louis Academy and you come to users, you will see that we have users here and we have groups. To be able to join a computer to the domain, your account must at least be part of this group, the domain admin group. Or if you are part of the enterprise admin group, you can also join computer. So when we come to domain admin and double click this and click on members, we'll see that our administrator account is a member of this group. And also when we come to enterprise admin, is local members, you will see that our administrator. You don't have to be an uh, enterprise admin to join computer to the domain. As a domain admin, you can do it. In this case, we're going to use our administrator account since that's the only account we have anyways because we haven't started creating users yet within our domain. So we'll just come back and we are putting that administrator account. So if you remember, when we install this Windows client computer, we log in with an account called KLA. The KLA account is not a domain account. It is a local account, as you can see in the top left here. That account cannot join this computer to the domain. The account that we are using here, administrator, is the account that is on the domain controller. So I'm just going to put in the username and password, and I will click on OK. And if the user has the right, Oh, so I made a mistake with the password. So I'm just going to click on OK. I'll click back on this. I will type administrator. OK, what happened is that I need to type the domain name first. So I will just type call Louise Academy and then backslash and then type the user administrator, my password, and then click on OK. And once I do that, it tells me that welcome to the call Louise Academy dot com domain. And I'll click on OK. And I'll click on OK. And then it will tell you that you need to restart for the changes to take effect. So I will just click on OK. I will click on Close. I will click Restart Now. OK, so now my computer has restarted. So I'm just going to click it. And now I have the option to log back in as a KLA user. So if I log in as a KLA user, it's logging in as the local user. I want to click on other user. And then when you look at the bottom, you, it, it will show you that it's going to sign into Call Luis Academy. So I will have to put an account that is on the domain controller. For now, we just have one account. So I'm going to put the domain name. So now it is logging into the computer for the first time with an account that exists on our domain controller. All right, so we have now successfully logged into our Windows 11 client. So I'm just going to click in the search and go to CMD, for example, and then I can there tap who am I? And it tells you that it is the administrator account that is logging to this computer from the call Louis Academy domain. And also I can click here on the start button and go to settings and then go to my system at the top left you see that it is administrator at call that is logged in if i come all the way to the bottom and click on about you also see the fully qualified domain name which is windows 11 clients 01.call louis and then this is the device name and now when you click on domain or work group and then you click on change you see now that it's no more on work group but it's now on domain so i will just click on cancel and click on cancel and then also so we can confirm this from the server side. So we'll go to our Windows Server 2022 and then we will just log in here. And 
then we will go to uh, let's go to Active Directory user and computers. So I'll go to Active Directory user and computers. We will click on computers. So now we can see this computer that has just joined the domain is in our computer organization unit. So if we double click on this computer, it will bring up the computer property. We can see the computer name and we can see the computer folder qualified domain name. And you can see Canto operating system. It tells you the operating system and it tells you that it is a member of domain computers and then you can see other information so i will click on okay that does it for today's video so as you saw that's how we can join a windows client computer to a windows domain controller thank you for taking time to watch this video again once you like this video make sure to like it if you have questions or feedback for us make sure to leave those in the comment section below and if you know of anyone who will find this video useful make sure to share it with them but without further ado i will leave you for now and i will say bye